Welcome to Shivering Timbers Dojo. Tonight we're going to continue our deep dive into Jukuru Purple Belt. So we've already done the club defenses. Uh, all of the club defenses were from throws. Hip throws, uh, shoulder throws, back throws, things like that. Now we're going to go into the part of uh, Purple Belt that is from on the ground. Again, if people are going to yell at me, and I know, I know they're not going to listen to this, they're going to yell at me, oh, you stood up while they're on the ground, don't ever do that. The idea is you have got them on the ground and you need to do something while you're standing, uh, other than just kick them into submission. So that is what these are geared toward. The first one is uh, getting into a choke uh, from your standard four-point uh, bear crawl. Oh no, they're on their all fours. And the second one is what happens when they turtle and they don't want to go anywhere. So we'll do both of those and we'll learn how to choke them from the ground. This is the Okuri Ryo Eri Shime. So this move starts with my uke on all fours. Now everybody screams at me, oh my god, why are you standing in there on all fours? Hot shit, please. So here's why. Again, this move is ostensibly they're on all fours and you're standing. Those of you who are used to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, um, you know, many of you want to start on the ground and you think to yourself, I would never stand up to attack because you leave yourself open. That's, if you're already on the ground, you don't have to stand up. But this is geared specifically to security guards, law enforcement, or people who, you know, need a quick uh, system uh, and you're standing. You, you've already gotten here. And if you throw somebody, your throws don't always work the way you want them. You know, you're coming here, you try. You know, it's a side center Kamiyashi, and you, you borked it, you know. They're here. Okay, fine, they're here, that's fine. But we still need to do something without necessarily just <laughs> falling off and kicking them. We can't always get away with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to step in close. We're going to reach under the arm. We're going to grab right here. Now I've got the lapel. Now I'm going to step over here. As I step over... I'm already getting my hook in and rolling from here. Now, I've got my hooks in here. I've got my hooks in here. I've got my choke here. I grab the other lapel here. You know, I got this. You know, however you get your hooks in, you get both legs. You know, get your triangle, your senkaku. However you got this, keep them from moving and pop that out. Other side. <laughs> It's tough when you got a big guy chucking you. All right, other side. So, I've thrown my uke, you know. Oh no, they're here. So again, I'm gonna reach in here, and I'm gonna drive this over. From here, grab here, cross it up, <laughs> and get that choke in. Now, for those of you who wind up on the ground, the same principles apply. So say you've thrown, ugh, and they drag you, and they wound up here, and you're here. You know, rather than take my referee's position, <laughs> I'm going to come up under here and grab here. I still want to get my leg over here. I want to throw it around here because that's going to help me roll. That's where my power is coming from for the roll. <laughs> Right to there, grab, play over here so we can see on the camera, and stretch that out. Other side. So, oh, I've thrown, oh, I haven't wound up in a great place, but I can still attack from here. Come up here and get that collar as deep as you can, if you can. Again, throw yourself over there. <laughs> and get up under here. I'm going to pull my left arm across and extend my right hand out. So the way that choke looks, let me see the position. Says I'll give you a little height. Just like we practiced before, you come up right here, you come up right here, and you got deep here, so you pull down here, you pull across there, and there's the choke. 
So the Okuri, Ryo Eri, Shime Di, sending both color construction. This is Ushiro Obishime. So the from behind belt construction. Now, they're in the turtle position. Once again, most times if somebody's in the turtle position, it's because you're in a tournament and they don't want to get turned over on their back and pinned. Touch. But that doesn't mean that you won't encounter a turtling position in a more self-defense oriented situation. Specifically, guys, this is geared to law enforcement and other sort of jackbooted thugs. This is some perfect jackbooted thuggery we're about to perpetrate. <laughs> Sorry. So, I've thrown somebody down, I've got them down. Perhaps they're suffering from pepper spray. Perhaps they don't want their face to be known. Perhaps I need to move them and get them in a submissive position. You know, perhaps I don't know what they have in their hands. Perhaps I don't want to roll them over and get stabbed or poked or whatever. So I'm going to attack from the back. Now again, we could curb stop somebody, but that's not always what's allowed. So, barring the very easy of kicking them into submission, I need to control this person. So I'm going to use their belt. The only time this really doesn't work is if they're totally naked and Honestly, if you're fighting totally naked people, this may not be your best bet. Maybe just kick. But if they're not totally naked, they've got a waistband. Right. Grab the belt, come over, Ooh. pull the hip up, Ooh. and shoot your legs back inside here because I want to shoot out this way. I want their legs to shoot back. Actually, I'm going to have to scoot back just a little bit. So as I step up and haul this up, I step in, I step in, and now I roll forward. Now I'm rolling forward. I'm putting pressure on my heels right into their hips. From here, I'm going to reach under and choke I'm like this. If you can't choke, if you can't get them, you can just crush them and Superman out. Other side. So, <laughs> I've thrown them down and turtling. Oh no. So, again, I'm going to grab this, I'm going to haul this up, and get my feet inside. That's important, because as I roll forward, all I'm going to do is shove them forward, and I can literally just <laughs> Superman out and use my weight on them. If they're bigger than me, and there are people bigger than me, I know it's hard to believe, um, and my weight isn't enough, then I reach down and choke. So. As I get the Ashikanami with my legs here, the supermaning didn't work. Slide up under here <coughs> and add some of that. Now, once again, this is their turtling and you're standing, but it doesn't always work that way. Perhaps you've thrown them and you've wound up here. You still can get here as you pull up. I would go ahead and stand up, and I know this is anathema to what a lot of people teach you, but that's okay, because what we're doing is we're lifting. The stand is the lift with the legs to haul them up to get this in and drive forward. Boom, right here. Just the weight might be all you need. If not, slide this thing under and add a little incentive not to breathe. So, this is the Ushiro Obishime, how to break a turtle into a submission. So that was Jukuru Jiu-Jitsu's purple belt, and that was the uh, choke, the Okuri Ryo Eri Shime, the choke from behind there on all fours, and then the Ushiro Obishime, the attacking the turtle. Practices, practices from throwing, practices from, oh, you know, my uke got themselves pushed up and now I need to get on them. And then, yes, practice from kneeling, practice from on the ground with them, practice from both positions. You will find that it's much easier to haul the belt up 
for that uh, Ushiro Obishime if you stand. That it really lift your legs because then you can shoot the legs in, kick them inside there, and really kick them back to Superman or Superman choke. Really get them uh, with your weight on the back of their head. That's ultimately what you're going for. Go to the submission, control the situation, keep their hands from harming you. All right? So, practice these. If you still don't like them, well, come to class. We'll try them out, see what you don't like. Other than that, stay safe.